All right, welcome back. Bit of a windy day here, but a sunny day, so we're gonna kind of get through some more uh, stones here. I This is just a sandstone, and a dirty one at that. And very, very crumbly. This will be fun to uh, to, to break apart. It's, uh, it has many different grains. I saw pink grains, gray grains, you know, the sparkly bits on this are quartz grains. So just a very dirty, crumbly, weathered sandstone. Here's its other half. Even down there, you can see kind of the, yeah, just dirtier, shouldn't say dirtier, but just grayer rock bits, I would, you know, rock grains. It's a weird sound for a rock to make. All right, next up, it's another sandstone, also, uh, a crumbly, crumbly one. It's mostly quartz with, mostly quartz grains. And there was some finer sections of, there's some sections of finer grains in here that aren't as sparkly. Definitely a bit more brown looking. You know, it's broke open into a bunch of different sections. Yeah, that. In the center there. See how it's a slightly different color? It's smaller grained than the uh, quartz grains surrounding it. This one might show that show the same thing too. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I just thought that was strange. I don't know if this one does. But I'll break this down for sand. It does seem to be working out really well to do uh, cannabis seedlings in peat and sand, one part each. And I've got it limed with hydrated lime. And it uh, seems to be working well. I've, um, by this time, should have videos posted on that if you're interested. Okay. This one. It's curious. It broke open. It wants to stay sandy like this even when I, or it wants to stay uh, dusty like this, like it has, you know, it definitely has uh, this kind of dust on it. Some sparkly bits. The sparkly bits in this are multicolored, have a multicolored shiller to them under magnification. Definitely, you know, some sort of fine sandstone. You know, sand comes in various grain sizes, so a fine sandstone. And silt, I think, comes in its own kind of grain size as well, so, or is this a coarse siltstone? Or is it a marriage of both? It just broke open nicely too, that flat plane is pretty sweet. Definitely what I would think are the core quartz shimmers there. I'll see how that one breaks down, honestly. I checked to see if all of these rocks break down for sand. Classic, a larger one, a larger uh, uh, Arcos sandstone. You know, made up of quartz grains and potassium feldspar grains. time I break these down with a hammer, they are very, it's so much more fine-grained than a lot of the quartz grains.
pretty neat. I like these. The history behind these must be fascinating for some sort of granitic source to be broken down and then re relithified to create something like this. Just a fascinating history. All right, we're going to get to what I think are the igneous. What are igneous rocks? Uh, what did I have written out about this? Felsic granitoid, you know, definitely quartz. There was some darker mineral in this. It's pink mineral, not as overall pink. And the cleavage plane right there is probably some sort of feldspar. And then what shimmers next to it that I'm moving back and forth there is a quartz, I assume. I could be, you know, always comment, correct me if you, if you know or if you want to correct, correct. There's the darker minerals. I noticed that about that dark mineral there in kind of the center. When I put a shimmer on this, it wasn't, or got the sun to shine on it, it wasn't like a clean, clear cleavage plane. It almost looks like TV static back when TVs had static. This is a pretty, this is a very pretty granite to me. It's a nice cleavage there. This one broke into thirds. Just to go, oh, there's, I think, a darker mineral doing the same kind of effect down there. It's the first time I've noticed a mineral really do that. So there that is, some sort of felsic granitoid. And next up, I mean, I guess I'd have to call this a granitoid, but I could be totally wrong. Oh, there we go. There's a cleavage plane right there, which is really nice. Uh, kind of yellowish green. Yeah, I don't know if that's weathering, staining on the... Uh, uh, maybe some quartz there. I, I'm not getting the greenish color in this uh, right now, but it definitely does have a greenish color to it. And then, of course, the dark mineral. Not sure if I got too much. Yeah, you know, I always go towards for something this light colored that the dark mineral might be some sort of, uh, you know, an amphibole, a horn blend. I know there are other amphiboles other than horn blend that it could be but I don't have all that knowledge Look at that kind of shine right there in the center is a darker mineral we'll do the other half it's kind of crumbly looking looks like it would break down fairly easy That's cool. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. Alright, well that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I really, really enjoy making these. And of course I want to do videos with a lot more with varying content so please uh, please keep supporting thanks for watching